Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Before we start, make sure you follow us on Instagram in order to follow up on everyday facts about Kurdistan, amazing pictures and of course news about this channel. Everything about Kurdistan on Instagram and as usual, the link will be available in the description box below, otherwise you can always just search for it. Now, today it is time to answer some of the comments that we get in the comment section of our videos, often by anti-Kurdish users. Let's just read some of them. There were no Kurdistan 50 years ago, so it's Turkey for thousands of years. This is Arabic land, go back to Persia. It's a good thing that Peshmerga terrorists were kicked out of Kirkuk and many other disputed areas back to pre-2003 borders. Kirkuk was never Kurdish and Kurdistan never existed. So the main topic of this video will be, does Kurdistan exist? Or is it just in every 50 million Kurds imagination? And during the video I really just want to answer this part, it's Turkey for thousands of years. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so this is an official map of the Middle East, but where is Kurdistan? Well, let's just think about this for a minute. As every other Kurd says, Kurdistan is occupied by several countries, those being Turkey, Iran, Iraq and Syria. So, Eastern Turkey is Northern Kurdistan, Northern Syria is Western Kurdistan, Northern Iraq is Southern Kurdistan, and Northwestern Iran is Eastern Kurdistan. But is there any facts behind these claims, or is it simply something that we Kurds wish to be true? Let's go back about 3000 years in time and find out for ourselves. We're now in 1000 BC. We had Lydians, we had Cimmerians, we had Assyrians, we had Medes and we had Persians. Among these there were also several minor ethnicities such as what eventually would become Armenians and Cardusians. Now nowhere in these areas is the Arabs or the Turks. Matter of fact, Arabs didn't even live in North Africa, Jerusalem or anywhere near Mesopotamia, but would expand and conquer these lands during the Islamic expansions in 632 to 750 AD. Of course, I will leave a lot of links in the description box below for all of my claims. Simply, the Arabs came to modern Kurdistan after the rise of Islam and the Turks, they came from the far east and was not in any way part of Mesopotamia or Anatolia during these times. For a more in-depth video about the Turkish origin, I will leave a link to our video about that on top of the screen right now, so be sure to check that out. Now, what about the Kurds? Fact is that the ancestors of the Kurds were of several different people since the Kurdish people today is perhaps Middle East most heterogenic people. Among the ancestors were the Mitanni people, the Cardunians and of course the Median people. The Median Empire, often seen as the first Kurdish Empire, extended at its peak over modern Kurdistan and even had control over modern Iran, Pakistan and Afghanistan. This empire was in war with Assyria and eventually would be overtaken by Persia as part of internal uprisings within the empire. But the point is that Kurds have been in these areas, alongside Assyrians, Persians and a lot of other people for many many thousands of years before Arabs and Turks put their foot in the area. Another way to verify this claim is to look at southern Kurdistan and the area of Shingal occupied by Iraq. Now this area is dominated by Yazidi Kurds which over time has been persecuted by everyone, mainly because of their choice of religion. Now Yazidism is one of the Kurdish origin religions and the scriptures and language of this people is Kurmanji which itself is counted as original Kurdish as Kurmanji comes from Kurdmanji which means Kurdish language. Thousands and thousands of years is behind the history of these buildings, religions and people. So simply, Turkey was found in 1923, which means that it has existed for less than 100 years at the creation of this video. 
Before that it was the Ottoman Empire, which likewise many other empires extended over many many different ethnicities and local governments in the Ottoman Empire. In the Ottoman Empire, the Kurds even had many local governments which the Turks didn't control other than in war times by orders. Now, about this being Arabic land is totally wrong, as Arabs been in the area only since after the Islamic expansion. There is no ancient old heritage in these areas that can be connected to Arabic culture in any way. And same thing goes for the Arabs in North Africa and other part except from the Arabs original land which is central Saudi Arabia. Most of the 400 million Arabs living today, probably the guy who wrote this comment, has ancestors which only faced mass murders, rapes and likewise stuff throughout North Africa and the Middle East by original Arabs. Still, these kind of people proudly call themselves Arabs in a disordinated way. For the last comment about Kirkuk and its origin, well, we already made a video about that and I will have it available right here on top of the screen so be sure to check that out in order to find out everything about Kirkuk. Now that's it for this video, I really hope you liked it and if you do, don't forget to like this video, comment your opinion down below and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos on this channel.